Uh, one of the reasons why I chose to run in this uh, campaign uh, to begin with. Uh, having won the uh, war, we must now win the peace. John F. Kennedy was a congressman who describes himself as very wooden and awkward uh, in front of a camera, and that exists. There's no question this was not the guy who grew into the presidency. The guy who grew into the presidency had great confidence and a great ability to communicate to not only a large room full of people, but to the television. Gentlemen. Sorry I'm late. Use these. What? What for? You're a war hero. Look like one. Oh. We wanted the first couple of episodes to show that Jack was not a natural born campaigner that he didn't really, he wanted to be a professor. He wanted to be a writer. Kennedy! 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 He did what he did for his, because that's what his father wanted. He came to embrace it. He came to realize how, how significant a role he could play, but that took some time. Uh, they'll tell you they want less jobs. Um, they want more jobs. Greg has just inhabited JFK. He's become JFK in the way he looks, in the way he speaks, in his mannerisms. And uh, it's just very exciting for me to, to watch him uh, sort of become him every day. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. You know, not all of us are actually handed the opportunity to play the guy. So once you start digging in and once you start examining who he is and kind of what he is, the story becomes deeper and richer and more interesting. The sense that maybe he gave the country, the sense of purpose and the sense of enthusiasm he was able to incite was, I think, much needed at that time. We needed probably more of it. And uh, the truth is that it was obviously um, an unfinished life. Playing somebody as established as the image we all have of a man like John F. Kennedy is a, it's an overwhelming task in the sense that me, just like everybody else, has a very clear sort of uh, indoctrined idea of who he was and what his presence was. It is my interpretation, as best I can, of, of trying to find something that feels honest and feels truthful. And, uh, I can't attest to the fact that he is uh, very intelligent, very, uh, very tenacious, and uh, we thought it'd be useful for him to get some uh, experience before he went into private practice. I started watching hours and hours of speeches and, and what's available on John Kennedy. There's footage that exists of Jack in the White House access to the president in a way that would be unheard of in today's kind of very media savvy publicity oriented world the key fact that i needed to learn about was how much pain he was in at all times in terms of his, his lower back injuries and his addison's disease and, and a number of illnesses that he was plagued by his whole life i mean he was given his last rites three times his parents, his father, thought he was not going to survive. And this was an issue that, that plagued him his whole life. Gentlemen, this idea of war is a, it's a terrible thing, but a war, Christ, that's worse. And they're easier to talk about than they are to win. Now, I think we monitor the situation here, but unless there's a significant change in the ground conditions, I think we stay the hell out. In Jack's case, he had that very strong Boston sound that we're all familiar with, and, and the sound changed. It was different when he was on a platform speaking to uh, 5,000 people than it was when he was sitting in a quiet room with the XCOM discussing options for the Cuban Missile Crisis. His sound at a dinner party or when he gets very officious and has to go through a number of facts, these press conferences that he was famous for, um, some of them very witty, some of them taking place after disasters like the Bay of Pigs. It was a sound that was evolving. Our intention was, of course, to uh, help the Cuban people free themselves from the communist yoke. Um, there's an old saying that uh, victory is a uh, 
hundred fathers to feed his an orphan. I listened to more Jack Kennedy than you can possibly imagine and tried to, without emulating him and without doing an impression of him, just instill something that felt authentic. It's been a six-month history class for me, the, the likes of which I never would have had in my life uh, without doing this sort of job.